Hi, I'm It's Fit Maddie Wilson. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're talking and doing food prepping. And I wanna talk about the difference between meal prep and food prep and the pros and cons and all of that stuff. I am pretty exhausted today. It is actually Sunday. You are seeing this on tomorrow, Monday, right now for you. But tomorrow for me, I need to go to the store. I need to get stuff to food prep. Um, this is the first week of me feeling better. I was sick for almost two weeks, like a week and a half. It was, it felt like a year. And I'm just excited to get back into a routine. And a huge thing for me in my routine is having food ready for me to consume because I have a busy life. And even if I didn't have a busy life, it's just very convenient to have food ready. So I wanna talk about all the pros and cons between food prepping and meal prepping. And yeah, let's go shopping. I need food, I need caffeine, I need water, I need a lot of stuff. So it's just gonna be a chilled, laid back video. If you don't like that, I'll see you later. If you do, come on this journey. Let's go to the store. Literally 10 minutes later, I just kicked butt in that store. And some days I just go into stores and I just fart around and I look at everything and I read stuff. But today I had a list and I was checking it off and I don't even really know this store that well. It's Fred Meyers. I usually go to like Winco or Grocery Outlet or like Costco, but some magical way I was in and out of there and I feel very productive and good. So I'm gonna go home, unload everything and start food prepping. Any broccoli, asparagus, had to re-up on my almond milk, my creamer, got some eggs. I'm gonna boil eggs and have those for breakfast. Avocados, I love you so much. If you haven't seen, I was actually an avogato last night at a Halloween party and that's mainly why I'm so tired today but I was an avocado, it's great. And then these are my all time favorite bars. I like to eat these before or after I work out and they are the Think Thin bars. They're vegan, gluten free and it's mint chocolate, can't go wrong. And then I got some bubbly. I haven't tried this one. I'm usually a LaCroix tap a girl but these were on sale and it's blackberry so I'm excited to try that. And if you're interested to see the difference between how I eat and how my boyfriend eats. This is what I got him for lunch. He'll have chicken Caesar wraps or he can do the goddess dressing with that with Parmesan cheese and some chicken and lettuce and then some pita chips. I got him milk and then for dinner he's gonna have the spicy black bean patties with pepper jack cheese. These buns look amazing and some fries and then a pizza just in case he wants a pizza. We eat very different and a lot of people get confused at that they're like why would you make food for yourself and then make food for your boyfriend and i just it's his life and i'm not gonna ever be like you have to eat what i eat but i he does like want to try my stuff sometimes and if he wants to try it awesome cool but i'm not gonna like force him to eat the way that i have to eat like i can't have gluten dairy and soy and i'm not gonna make him stop that stop fighting sorry my dog and my cat they like to fight. Anyways, I just, I'm not gonna force him to live the lifestyle that I have to live because if it was my option, I would be eating cheese. I would, you know it, you know it. And just like that, the hard boiled eggs are done. I'm doing a little ice bath for them so they're easier to um, peel. And then I have prepped my shrimp. Look how big these are. Ho, 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 ho. I actually have these in the freezer. These are Simply Truth raw tail off peeled and deveined shrimps and I'm going to get those ready. And I also got my chicken all thawed down here. So we are making progress. We're getting there. The chicken is ready to go in the oven. This is such a simple, simple recipe. It's just olive oil, salt. I put it in the oven at 450 but for only 20 minutes or until it reaches 165. Just very convenient, easy. I used to make my chicken at like 350 and bake it for an hour. 
I don't got time for that. I have to do zucchini, broccoli, and asparagus still in the oven. So 450 it is. It'd be like that. I've been prepping. So I have all my vegetables ready to go into the oven and those are actually done now. I just put them in for 450. The same with the chicken. The chicken is here. It's done. It's been done. But right when the chicken was done, I just threw in those vegetables and they look beautiful. And then I cooked up my shrimp. That was super simple. I just did coconut oil and then I let them sit for a couple minutes and then flipped them, let them sit and then added some lemon juice. And now I have this little container of shrimp ready to go. And before I box all of this up, I do wanna talk about the differences between meal prep and food prepping. So what I am doing is just getting a, you could probably tell this, but I'm just getting all of the different types of foods prepped and ready for myself. And so tomorrow I could have chicken with asparagus or I could have shrimp with zucchini or I could have zucchini and broccoli and something else like I'm basically I can create any type of meal I want I'm just getting like the staple things cooked and all I have to do is then just microwave it and that's what I need in my life something convenient and simple so let me get all of this stuff all boxed together and I'll be back in a sec to show you all the goodies. And here is all of the food all together. I know all of these foods make me feel good and I can just mix and match whatever I'm craving. I don't have to limit myself or be mad at myself or like try to think of what to eat when I'm super hungry. Like I have food available for me and that is the biggest thing with meal prepping meal food planning is what we're doing but meal prep as well as you know on my channel I talk about meal prepping a lot and I do that a lot but I just couldn't decide on one thing that I wanted so I gave myself options and I think that's totally fine to do if you want to do it let me know down in the comments below and let's leave an avocado emoji a little avocado emoji down below if you made it to the end of the video I really appreciate you watching and now this wasn't the most glamorous video. I know I'm not 100% from being sick, as you can kind of hear in my in my voice, but I just, I love making content. I love doing YouTube and my Instagram. If you haven't checked me out over on Instagram, it's Fit Maddie Wilson. Go do so and let me know what you want to see next week too. I'm always doing random stuff. But again, thank you so much. I will see you next week at 3 o'clock. Bye! One little con of food prepping, meal prepping, is you got to do all the dishes. All of them.